Preston McCall here again. Let's talk about some of the laws or rules of great masterpiece painting. You watch and learn about all the rules about how compositions in a painting dictates how you should feel and lay out a composition. I've seen and read all sorts of theories about what you have to do in order to make some composition follow the secret code of what the old masters followed. One that I have some problem with is that golden mean or that rule that states 1.618 is the ratio that you should follow. I guess they're saying that unless you follow this rule, your painting will not be very good. Well, I've looked at a lot of art, obviously. I really think this rule is a lot of fluff. My theory is that when the guards standing around in art museums stared at the same painting for years, they began to make up some conclusions about what the compositions were about. Of course, some say that it was the Greeks or the earlier artists that invented this rule, but maybe they had people around like guards who came up with these after conclusions about what the artist was up to without ever even asking the artist if that rule was at play. Now, there are the art experts talking about some magic triangle of composition which causes the viewer to fall into the center of attention. I have seen a lot of these triangle theories in discussing works by, say, Raphael and other Renaissance artists. They superimpose lines all over a painting and try to talk us into believing that the old masters knew these tricks and in order to make great art, you have to know these secret axioms. Somehow, I never saw any of those lines being more than just someone trying to make sense out of something with which we're supposed to judge as fine art. I never saw these lines. <clears throat> then there are the experts who pull out the old color wheel and draw lines from one color to another, telling us that you have to follow some set of rules about which colors you should use. You are supposed to draw lines on the color wheel to determine your palette. Needless to say, they do not know the true nature of the actual artist's paints and how they do not mix like the color wheel, being a mix of both additive and subtractive colors and the interference with other pigments in any color, which can conflict with the pure theory of color. Their rules are like they never tasted the cake and only read some description of what it should taste like. Experts. Then the art historians who proclaim some artist as a master. When we look at their work and think, uh, huh? Like we downplay Thomas Kincaid but praise Basquiat. What gives? Who really is the judge of our taste when we can easily tell what work is well done and what work is just kind of phony? Now we face postmodern art. Why is it called postmodern? Is that an excuse for anything that gets high praise as great art? I mean, I understood abstract expressionism. It was abstract and it was expressive. And pop art, well, pop art sounded like it was going to be fun. But postmodern? Where do they come up with these names? I wander through some of the online art fairs like Basel or the LA Art Fair, and I have to ask myself, why is there so much baloney? Oh, wait a minute. Maybe baloney would be a good subject to paint. Marshall McLuhan said that 99% of all the artists ever lived are currently alive. I guess we just have to accept it all and allow for our own interpretations. That's it, acceptance. We have to open up our eyeballs and see the world for what it is. Art tells us this now. We just have to accept that maybe our view of what it is just might be our own private fantasy. Therefore, maybe we should just paint what we really feel and love. Well, enough about the rules of art. We all get to decide what is beautiful, just like when we were young and could not tell if something smelled bad or was some exotic scent we should fall in love with. Now ask yourself, should art be some mommy, mommy, here I am? 
Or should it really be about some deep inner sensation of what we think of as beautiful, without all the official conventions and rules? Me, personally, I think we should follow our heart and instincts and paint what we want. At some point, you finally feel you might have broken through and are finally what you defined yourself as a true artist. Let us celebrate and whisper Bob Ross's name is really the reason we somewhat love painting. And then not again at the Mona Lisa and all the great pieces of the Renaissance in fabulous deference. Paint what you love and make it beautiful and not just evocative. It is about following your heart, so follow yours and keep painting. Enough brimstoning about the rules of art. More to come soon, so click on the like button and subscribe. We appreciate your comments and let us know your thoughts. I am Preston McCall signing off till the next number 122 Naked Artist Exposure video. Thank you for watching and keep painting.